Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining me for today's Rosetta Stone Advantage Learner Orientation. My name is Ray, and I'm going to spend the next 25 to 30 minutes walking you through your new Rosetta Stone account. I'll show you some ways you can contact support should you need to, and I'll let you know where you can sign into your account as well as the main components and features of the program. And then we'll close with some learning tips and best practices. When you were first registered with an account in Rosetta Stone Advantage, you received a registration confirmation email. This email contained information that you will want to review before starting the training with your new language. This website is accessible from any computer that has a high-speed internet connection and meets our system requirements. Your access portal looks like this screen here, and this is where you would enter your username and password and then click on Sign In. It is worth mentioning that if you access Rosetta Stone Advantage through your organization's learning portal, your sign-in process will look a bit different than this one. So just be sure to reach out to your administrator and make sure that you know how to access your account. If you need to change the language displayed on the website, simply click on the top right corner, choose an interface language, and select the one you want to display. Then click on Continue to accept the terms of use. Now, in most cases, when you connect for the first time, you have to take an assessment test. This test allows you to define which level you'll need to start at on the Rosetta Stone Advantage solution. You will be able to compare the results of assessment tests with those of the progress test that you'll take towards the end of your training period. First, you have to select your training objectives, which are the topics you want to work on, and the language learned. For example, here you can choose either professional situations, which allows you to gain some autonomy in various professional situations, such as negotiations, meetings, and etc. Or you can choose everyday situations, which allows you to cover content relating to travel, reinforce previously reviewed uh, material, read in a second language, among some other things. The choice you're making now can be modified later. We will review in a moment how you can redefine your training objectives at any time during your training. When you're ready to move on, click on Start the Test. Now, depending on the learning uh, languages, these choices may be a little bit different. So, for example, in Dutch, there are no professional situations. Now, this placement test takes from 20 to 45 minutes to complete, and remember that you have the possibility to interrupt the test to finish it later. You just close the question window by clicking on the X at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Remember also that you'll need the headset that you were provided. Before you begin, make sure you check that your headset works properly before the test, or you may also use some external speakers. Now, during this test, you will have the possibility to listen to the audio questions twice. Each question has a limited time for you to answer. You can monitor this with the stopwatch located at the top right-hand corner of your screen. When the time allowed has expired, you will not be able to listen to the audio or answer the questions again. You will have to confirm the question at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen and continue. After the test, the system will determine your level. You just have to click on Continue to select the different topics you wish to work on. If you need details on lesson programs or lesson lists, the direct duration, etc., simply click on the icon on the right of the program or topic title. You may also click on Confirm on the last screen to confirm your choice and access the home page. Current eCourse. Remember, this is from the list of topics you chose from in the first step. Each lesson in Rosetta Stone is made up of different activities that allow you to work on one or more language skills. We have oral and written comprehension, as well as oral and written expression. You will also see a menu for additional services such as phone courses and live tutoring. And depending on your package, you can contact your tutor through messages. Also using resources here, 
You can complete your training by selecting activities according to the skills you want to explore in more detail. Before starting your first activity, it's highly recommended that you verify that your microphone is set up correctly. Click on the Settings menu in the left toolbar and then select Speech Recognition Microphone Settings. Make sure to follow the three steps described in detail and save your settings. Utilizing the speech recognition tool is the very best way to take advantage of all of the activities and improve your speaking skills. By clicking on the lesson title under the current e-course menu on the home page, you will access the first activity that has not been completed in this lesson. Simply follow the instructions. If you need more information about the activity, you may click on the Instructions button. Some additional tools are also available. Depending on the type of activity, you'll be able to access the grammar explanation, the listen or pronounce activities, or the conjugation tool. Let's try the pronunciation tool. The speech recognition tool is one of the fundamental pieces of the Rosetta Stone Advantage method. You can access it within all of the activities to improve your speaking skills by either of the following two ways. Right-click on a word in the screen to access the pronounce button indicated by the microphone icon, or you can click on the additional tools, then pronounce, and select the word you want to work on. When accessing the pronunciation workshop, you will start by listening to the model of the pronunciation word or sentence. On the left, you will find the recording control panel. For some of the virtual conversation activities, the recording will start automatically. For others, you will have to click on the microphone icon to start the audio recording and move on in the next exercise. Once you've spoken, your pronunciation is analyzed and you'll get a score on the right side of your screen. This may take a few moments. The speech recognition threshold is set on easy by default. That is to say, a score of three out of seven will meet the standard. If your score appears in green, it means that you've passed that threshold. In other words, your pronunciation is understandable in comparison at an easy level. Remember that you can practice pronouncing as many times as you want. If you're struggling to pronounce a word or phrase correctly, feel free to move on to another word and come back to this word later. To validate any activity, you will need to click on Check My Answer. If it's correct, you can click on the Next Activity button. If it's not correct, try again before asking for the solution by clicking on the Show Solution button. If you choose to click on the Show Solution button, you will be provided with the correct answer, but will not receive any credit for that screen's activities. Before going directly to the next activity, check the menu for other options. This is a great way to have fun learning a new language. For more details on the program chosen, click on the Language Training tab on the left side of the screen. Depending on the choices you've made at the very beginning, on the left side of the screen, you will see the list of the programs chosen, organized here kind of by folders. By clicking on the name of the program, the program outcomes and the list of lessons are displayed on the right side of the screen. For each lesson, you can see the percentage correct and completed. You can use this to track your improvement and the progress of your training. It can also be helpful if you want to work on a specific topic. You just have to click on the lesson title to access it. You can consider you've understood and passed the lesson if you've achieved more than 75% correct. You can add new topics at any time during the training. To do this, click on the Add New Lessons at the top right-hand side of your screen and you will access the same questions as you saw at the beginning of your course. Check off your additional choices. For example, after several weeks of training, you can challenge yourself by selecting the upper level and choosing new topics. 
By clicking on the arrow, Detailed Lesson Information, you can access the details of the lesson selected. It's highly recommended to do the activities of each lesson in the order they are proposed. Most of the time, the first activity is a support activity containing a dialogue, text, or video, and all of the following activities are based on the grammar rules and vocabulary introduced in this first activity. The Resources tab allows you to work in different ways. To focus your training on some specific points of grammar or topics by selecting only the exercises related to this specific point. This is also where you can access the virtual conversations. If you're studying English language only or the cultural files, this is a great way to improve your comprehension skills and provide you with the opportunity to know more about the countries in which the language you're learning is spoken. Let's now take a look at the test tab. All the tests available in your account are displayed here. You could access the placement test key and score, the progress test, same as the placement test, and so by taking it, you'll easily notice how far you've progressed since the beginning of your training. The criteria to access this progress test are displayed on this page. In most cases, it's available after 20 hours of work on the platform and 15 days before the end of your training. Finally, you may also have access to take an achievement test. This test is available twice any time during your training period. The results will be comparable to those set by the Council of Europe. The last additional service that depends on what the company has subscribed for you is the possibility to write a message to your tutor. Click on Messages on the left toolbar to access the mailbox. Here you will find all of the messages sent or received to you from your tutor. Throughout your training, you're able to check how much time you spent in each section of your program, as well as the distribution per week, the skills practiced, and your success rate. So much information to help you reinforce your training. This information can help you select your next goals and objectives. By selecting Lesson Progress Report in the menu, you can receive details for each lesson accessed. We do have a few learning tips and best practices for making our products really work for you. The first is to spend 30 minutes per day in the program. Now, we understand that you'll have a busy, busy schedule, so if this isn't feasible for you right now, just keep in mind that the key here is consistency and frequency. If you can manage 15 to 20 minutes per day, five days a week, that's going to be much better than just spending one hour on the weekends. Just like learning anything new, the more often you can expose yourself to what you're learning, the more you'll be able to retain what you've learned. Don't hesitate to schedule your learning sessions on a calendar. A visual reminder can be very helpful. And if you have colleagues who are also learning the same language, you may want to set a time to practice conversing with uh, each other in this new language. In much the same way, find opportunities to use the new language outside of this program. This might be by watching movies, reading books, or listening to the news in your target language. This is the best way to increase the immersion experience and get yourself used to the words and sounds. Last but not least, make it fun. It will be really more efficient if you enjoy your training. Remember that access to phone courses, live tutoring, and mentoring or learning uh, lesson help depends on what is included in your package. So please check with your training manager or your line manager to know more about what you have available. Feel free to also contact our technical support team at any time. They're uh, available during working hours from Monday to Friday. And you can find the email address on your portal by clicking on the right button corner, um, the right bottom corner in the help menu. It's highly recommended to write your tutor for linguistic questions if you have access to this service. And to know more about the different services available, don't hesitate to look at the tutorials and videos that we offer.